Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is more about the blend tool. We're going to blend these leaves looking things to the path, but then we're going to change the size of one of the objects to make the vine kind of look like it's going from a big leaf to a little leaf. I, you would normally do this at first, and then it would blend, but you can always do it after. So let's blend like 10 times. And then we're gonna go right here to new path, put it on our path, and then blend along full path and rotate all objects. And you have this vine looking thing. Now, this is still a path. So if you will select just that one and reduce it, you can even see it even snaps to the path. So you've got a smaller item. We actually probably wanna blend it uh, let's blend it like 15 times for this to work perfectly or better. Blend along full path and rotate all objects. Okay, let's don't rotate and see what happens. There's what happens. It doesn't rotate them. So if we want them along that path and along that we need to rotate all objects. Now you can see they're a little bit crowded but if we select that one and See how it's going off the line, but as soon as I let go, it snaps to it. So it's, it's making the leaves smaller, like you would think. And if we grab it all and, you know, make it a green and uh, maybe take away the outline. Now, we took away our path, so you need to select that, go up to object and break the blend apart. And then you can grab just that line and you see we have a red line. Let's make that line a black line by right clicking. Let's make it a little bit thicker so it looks pretty good and you can see it's all hidden underneath there. So it's kind of like a seal, um, you know, type deal. And if you wanted to control G, control D, and then hold down the control button and flip it over, you have a somewhat of a seal. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.